tragedy as rescue crews pulled a father and daughter from the ocean on the Jersey Shore. It happened in Monmouth County in Avon by the Sea. CBS 2's Christine Sung reports first responders say the father drowned trying to save his daughter. Beachgoers watch as divers search for a 39 year old man. Police and a water rescue team utilizing every equipment, including jet skis, finally locating the man but unable to save him. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. I've lived here for a number of years, and we've always seen, unfortunately, rescues before hours and after hours. It's a rarity that you see such a catastrophe during hours when people are around. Law enforcement officials say the man jumping into the water to save his teenage daughter shortly after 8.30 Friday morning when she got swept away near a jetty and caught in a rip current. Rescue crews able to pull the girl out and rush her to the Jersey Shore University Medical Center. Authorities haven't released the identity of the victim, but say the family was visiting from Teaneck. It's terrible. I just don't understand why people would consider going out in the water when there's no lifeguards on duty. Signs are clear. No lifeguards on duty weekdays at this beach until June 17th, all along the Jersey Shore. Just last month, six people had to be rescued at a Sandy Hook beach. One of the victims a teenage boy died. Lifeguards weren't on duty there either. And it's deceptive because it looks so calm, um, but you don't see the undertow. Um, and that's really what's getting people in trouble. Officials say they cannot stress enough if you go into the water when lifeguards are not on duty, you are swimming at your own risk. In Avon by the Sea down the Jersey Shore, Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News. Now, the majority of beaches on the Jersey Shore don't have lifeguards on duty weekdays until after Father's Day, and that's June 18th.